another game maker how to make monsters or enemies or zombies walk around the room randomly okay common beginner one people love to make these things randomly lots of ways to do this by the way some ways involve simple codes some ways involve very complicated algorithms you know i'm just going to show you a simple beginner way to get you up and going so you'll see here i have a room i have some monsters i'm uh, going to take the monster object and here's my random movement code i'm going to do this one uh, once with alarms and then i'll do it once without alarms so in the create event of the monster I'm going to turn an alarm on. So I'm going to say uh, alarm zero, and I'm going to set this to a time of, let's say, every two seconds. So, sorry, that's the wrong math here. We have 30 steps a second uh, by default right now. So 60, that should set my alarm to go off in about two seconds. And then when that alarm does go off, so let's go to alarm zero. I'm basically going to ask the monster to pick a new direction to walk in. So direction equals I random range 0 to 359. That's really it. Just make sure we turn the alarm back on again. So in two more seconds, the monster will pick another random direction. Now that's really it for the simple version here. Let's see what happens. Wait our two seconds. That's not good. I'm sitting there going, why aren't these things moving? The code's perfect. Well, there's nothing wrong with the code, but it's missing one thing. I forgot to put the speed in. So let's just uh, give them a speed as well. So that way they actually do some moving. Let's give us another run. And every two seconds are going to go. Now, I don't think I've coded the ghosts hitting the walls. So, yeah, they're going to leave the room. But, you know, hopefully you know how to uh, make the ghosts stop or bounce off the walls. But you can see every two seconds they are randomly moving. Uh, you may want to check out the other video, which goes uh, random movement towards player. And so it's sort of random, but they go towards the player on average. It's another good little video you might want to watch. And so once again, that was basically it. Just in the create event, set yourself up with an alarm that turns on. Uh, you might even want to just make this alarm a random value. So it looks a bit different, like 320 to 120. That way it's not so, you know, mechanical every single two seconds. And then also copy that line when you reset the alarm down here. And that way when they're switching now, It looks a little bit more like they're deciding when they want to switch directions. Right? They all do it at different times, too. So, yeah, it definitely looks a little bit better. So, again, that was just simply by making the timing on our alarm a random value. 